So one of the best things you can do is get the oil back to the pan as quickly as possible. And one of the best ways to do it is with one of these improved racing crank scrapers. Because not only will it get the oil off of the throws of the crank and get it back to the pan quicker, scraping it off the crank will keep it from rotating with the rest of the engine and actually free up a couple of extra horsepower. So not only are you making sure you've got more oil, you're picking up a few ponies at the same time. So this is a great modification to do. They give you some excellent instructions on how to put this thing on. It's a pretty simple process. So I'll move the camera here so you can see what I'm doing and we'll get this guy installed. Okay, now the first step of this is dependent upon what kind of studs you're using for your main caps. Are you using the factory studs or are you using upgraded ARP hardware? If you're using the factory stuff, they include these bushings that go in the four corners like this. I'll take one out here so you can see it. These little things, they reduce the diameter uh, because the factory studs have a smaller diameter than the ARP stuff does. If you're using the ARP stuff, you don't use the bushings at all. So the idea here is you just start by sliding it on here and then we're gonna put all the nuts on. There are 10 nuts. And what we're going to do is just tighten them down so they're snug but not tight. We need this to be able to move around a little bit because once we've got all these nuts on, we're gonna spin the motor. We need to make sure that we have clearance. And to do the clearance part, you are gonna need a feeler gauge. If you don't have a set of feeler gauges, get one. It is important for this part. You have to make sure that nothing is going to hit as the motor is rotating around. These nuts are cut in kind of the same way as a nylock washer would be. So they have resistance once they get fully engaged. They don't wanna turn back off. Best way I found to do this is just Keep turning it until it stops and then go back about a quarter turn. That's enough to make sure that it's loose and it can move around. Okay, that can still move around here. Cool, now I'm gonna get my 24 out so I can spin the motor around. Because we're not worried about the four stroke cycle here, we only need to go around 360 degrees. So see how I've got this big dimple right here? That's top dead center on number one. I'm just gonna go around until I see that again. Okay, goes around without hitting anything. Now I'm gonna check all of the crank throws individually when they're up to make sure we've got the clearance. So I'm just gonna get my 20 thousandths out here. That's 10, 18, 19, 20. We need a minimum of 20 thousandths clearance in all the gaps. So we got 20 there, definitely got 20, 20. That's good. Spin it around 90 degrees. Should have some new crank throws up, here we go. Reason we're worried about 20 is thermal expansion. So aluminum and steel expand at different rates. So you need to have a clearance between them. This is the same deal as you would have with piston rings on pistons because pistons are made of aluminum and the rings are made of steel. They expand at different rates. So you need to make sure that they're not gonna make inadvertent contact with each other once they heat up. Back at top dead center. Good, good, okay. We are good everywhere. Now I can go ahead and finish torque all of these down. Okay, these are all torqued down now. These get 18 foot pounds. The nice thing about this crank scraper is it also kind of doubles as a brace for all of the main caps too, because it's one piece of solid aluminum. It ties them all together, adds just a little more strength to the block. So that's another nice feature. Now all I have to do is get the uh, improved racing windage tray on there as well. This is a lot simpler. There's only six holes that you have to worry about getting screws into. They supply the screws. They are a four millimeter Allen key. I wouldn't use an Allen key though. I would definitely get a socket like this because you are going to torque them. Not a lot, they're only gonna get five foot pounds, but you do wanna get your torque spec right. So I would get this. All right, there you go. I've got the windage tray installed, and that is what an improved racing crank scraper and windage tray can do for your car. If you got a front sump LS, I definitely recommend it. If you have any LS, it's a good idea.